Super Lap Battle is back at Circuit of the Americas and the esteemed Formula One circuit saw a major resurfacing of the track, opening possibilities for faster lap times. Leveling at the apex of Turn 12 was addressed, as well as indentations at Turn 2 and 10. This year's Superlap saw many new competitors and was bound to see records fall. So the question stood, who would beat Life Motorsports 2021 overall record of 206.432? What's up guys, my name is Dai Yoshihara. I'm here at Circuit of America for Superlap Battle and this is my first time driving this track and so far it's super fun. Um, I am driving this uh, Civic Type R from Spin Sports and also I'm driving the uh, Evasive Motorsports Town 14 Tesla Model 3. The problem of the Tesla is we can only do like one lap a session and we can do only two sessions a day so it's very challenging, it's a different type of challenge. We're in unlimited class but um, as far as competition wise it's not going to be super quick so we're going just as fast as possible for the Tesla time. And also Spoon Sports FKA, this is for uh, uh, endurance racing so it's not really made for the time attack but we try to do the fastest time with this car. So yeah, so far I'm having a really good time and I uh, hope you guys enjoy as much as I do. The first few sessions saw Amir Benatou set a 2.15, resetting the street class record. In a limited class, Ferris Katume was striving for overall fastest and put down a 2.06, then a 2.04, then a 2.03.9 in the third session of the day. Will Ayung, in his vibrant performance Civic, was improving on his times, tightening the battle for fastest overall. Ferris Kartuma here, driver of the number 72 uh, Car Optics Racing Corvette. We're here at Superlap Battle, going for the overall record. And we just broke it today uh, with a 204.0, uh, and then we followed it back up with a 203.9. So uh, the event's going amazing right now. The weather's beautiful. Uh, lots of crazy competition. Will came from Canada. Uh, a lot of records being set. I think there's been about five different records overall set for the event. Uh, hoping to slightly go faster later on have some couple minor fixes to make and hopefully we can drop a two minute flat. Um, new for the car for 2022, we have the Virus Engineering um, Aero Package and you know now we're making anywhere from 2,000 to 6,000 pounds of downforce on the car and it's becoming a slight bit of a problem where we're having a lot of crazy vibrations as we're entering to the 130 mile an hour to 180 mile an hour range. So I'm hoping to fix that before I go back out for the rest of the day. Uh, maybe just call the last session and, and start again tomorrow. My name is Amir Bentitu with RS Future and we are here with our Acura NSX that we run in the street class. It's been a very great day for us. Absolutely incredible event. The event is bigger than ever. A massive amount of drivers. Records falling everywhere. We have the unlimited front wheel drive record. Unlimited overall. Street and all sorts of records falling. We came out here with the goal of going sub-15. Did that on our second session, did a 14, then did a 13, which we really weren't expecting. Our dream goal was to do a 13, and we managed to do it. So we got some fresh tires on the car, day one's over, and we're gonna try to do a 12 tomorrow. Day two saw 
cloudy, cooler weather as drivers prepared to head on track after the Gridlife Touring Cup, a unique wheel-to-wheel -wheel series designed to allow for close racing between a diverse field of cars. On the first session of the day, Ferris Katumi was back at it, laying down a 2.0 4.5. Canadian driver Will Young came out swinging that same session with a 2.05.7, reminding everyone not to count out the front-wheel drive Honda platform from taking P1. I'm Will L. Young. I'm here at Super Lap Battle USA at Circuit of the Americas. Um, we're here with our Vibrant Performance PZ Tuning Civic. And today's day two, uh, afternoon, and we just put out an incredible time. We did a 205.6 uh, on our second session today. Absolutely blown away. We had to work late through the night. You know, the crew did a fantastic job. We, uh, we, we noticed the OEM casing actually had a crack inside it. So we took the time, we did bring a spare transmission and we just took the time to actually change over that transmission. Um, and it's worked great all day. Just super excited to be, you know, here turning laps again and absolutely just improving my times all day long. Jack in here. We're at Dakota Super Lap Battle 2022. Uh, having a decent time, uh, we brought a lot of our customers and friends and family out for this one. Yesterday, all day, we're struggling a little bit with the settings and stuff. Uh, stuck at a 16-0. And then Amir went on and laid down a stonker of a lap 13-8. 213-8. Smashed our record by like a good four seconds just to rubbing it, you know. Uh, felt defeated, but came back, made some changes, and we did our best. Uh, Too bad? No, they shouldn't. Hey, something's leaking. Hear this? Yep. Tire. Tire's leaking. No way, dude. Okay. Oh, let's get it in there and jack it up quickly. Get it, get it in there. Get it. Unfortunately, we also lost our good set of uh, new uh, 295 AO52s. Uh, that was supposed to be our today's go set. And ended up having to be stuck on some 275, 40, 18, 19 CR1s. Doing our best with it, though. We lowered our PB by about a second. So we're at a 215.0 now. And I still think we have a little bit more time left uh, this afternoon to find. So over the winter, kind of we we at PhD kind of took a little, little bit of a break. Alex and I both went on some vacations, just try to clear our mind after a really long season. But I think the guys at RS Future really, you know, put their hammer down and did a lot of development work in a very short period of time. And it's the result speaks for themselves, you know. Uh, props to them; they did a really great job. Big fan of their work, and really, it's the rivalry drives the series forward. You know, uh, a couple of years ago, we were only here running 221s, 222s as winning times. Last year, it took a 17. This year, it's now a 13. The third place car in the, in the field is still at 19. And you know, when, once you consider the, how far this rivalry has pushed the class forward, it's really incredible. And his, his PB, his best time right now for a street class record is lower than the limited class record. I think that's insane. That's kind of mad. So we'll get you next time. You, you, I hate you, but I love you also. It's, it's frenemies. Times improve throughout the day with most drivers retaining their positions in the Super Lap Battle Shootout. Jeffrey Ting in Enthusiast class was disqualified, making a shift in that class's podium. And Limited class continued to be dominated by McLarens and Porsches. Third place, Procom with a 240.709. Mr. Sean Bassett, car 269, Datsun 240Z from Attacking the Clock Racing. Second place, one of our buds here that we've been racing with for a long time, Ryan Dusex with a 228.744. Second place, Procom with the Subaru Specs E, DSX Motorsports Flat Irons Tuning. First place, jumping out way ahead with a 208.767, Mr. Richard Luttrell and AJ Peterson, and the Mercedes Benz GT3 Dark Horse Race, Lone Star Race which is a record rear wheel drive overall class record for Pro Comp. Thank you, Richard, for coming out and playing with us today. We appreciate it. We did have a record front wheel drive. It wasn't good for podium, but it was good for fifth place with a uh, 237.987 Steven Boosler, Honda Civic Type R, Boosler Racing. Now third place, enthusiast class with a 235.805. Mr. Bailey Ipok, Bang for Buck Racing, Mitsubishi Lancer. 
Second place, Thomas Thompson with a 235.377 Cadillac ATS V sedan. First place, Enthusiast Class with a 233.184 Mr. Gregory Formosa. Car 390, Mitsubishi Evolution. Third place, Limited Class, Gabe Zamora with a 217.071 in the Porsche GT3 Studio RSR, all the way from California, I believe. Second place with a 216.541. Just read this guy's name, Thomas Thompson, with Zachary Sober as a co driver in the McLaren 620R base Team Naxon Limited. First place, new rear wheel drive record, class overall record, 214.754, Mr. Andy Hollis. McLaren 720, one lap McLaren. So we have a new front wheel drive record, street class with a 225.806. Nicholas Kors and Alex Artiet, car 79, Honda Civic SI PRL Motorsports. That's a new front wheel drive record. Now, third place with a 219.879, Thomas Smith Racing Subaru. This is a new all wheel drive record for street class. Congratulations, all wheel drive record for street class. Good for third place this weekend at Super Lab Battle 2022. Second place, a familiar face with a 215.040, Jackie Ding and Alex Lee, Toyota Supra, TA90, PhD Racing, with a 213.894, which is definitely a class record for street class and rear wheel drive, Amir Bintatu from California, RS Future Toyota Rad, Acura, NSX, come on down. 213 is very quick at this circuit, very quick. Unlimited class, third place, with a 211.776, Mr. Mark Austin and Cameron Lawrence, Mad Joker Racing, Porsche 911 C2. Second place, which is a record for front wheel drive in unlimited class. 205.600, Mr. Will Ah Young in the Honda Civic Vibrant Performance PZ Tuning. First place, with a 203.974, King of Coda, Ferris Pertumi, come on out, King Coda Car Optics Racing Chevrolet Corvette, overall class record. Give it up for your podium for unlimited class. Fastest overall, records in front wheel drive, records all over the place. Thank you guys, Super Lab Battle Coda 2022, King Coda Ferris. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and keep chasing that perfect lap.